This is Amelia, and Hello. she's gonna cut my hair. <laughs> you do it so softly. <laughs> I got so much hair. How much would you like me to cut? No, it's here. I can see. Okay, here. Okay. Like yeah, yeah. this much. Oh my God, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but just cut a just little a bit. bit. Yes. You got some parts that are shorter, like this part. It's yeah. much shorter. So you can just leave it shorter. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. But don't don't cut like this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're curly even when it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> Baby curls. Let's okay. give me show. Wow, that's my hair. <laughs> a quick little breakfast break <laughs> <laughs> now we've had our breakfast and we're back to cutting hair right so you want this part shorter you see i think it would be nice no just maybe a little bit shorter do you want to do from that side so you can see the light yeah you're so much taller than me <laughs> how tall are you one sixty-two i'm one sixty-eight but that's only five centimeters different. I look up so you look down. <laughs> I look down. <laughs> okay, I trust you. Do you want it shorter on both sides? Or do you? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Do whatever you think looks nice. Alright. It's just hair a little bit. The hair has been cut. We are done. I think it's, it's quite dry, right? Do you need a dryer? Oops. No, I think it's quite dry. She brought everything with her. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's yeah, nice, dry. right? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. We did a little bit shorter here in the front. So now I can do, I can kind of have my hair like this. Yeah, thank you so much! <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Thank you, it feels really nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes! <laughs> I just wanted to show them my hair, but you can continue blowing your nose, don't worry. <laughs> okay, we've dropped off Amelia. She slept at mine's last night, which was really nice. We had some Indian food and some dessert. And then this morning she cut my hair for me. <laughs> I was so excited about it. I haven't had a haircut in... <laughs> you don't even want to know how long. <laughs> a really, really, really long time. And even though we didn't cut off too much, because I just wanted to... Oh, I just wanted to trim the ends. I'm sorry, but if you're bumping into people at a mall, like and you're not even apologizing maybe re reevaluate who you are but yeah um, even though we didn't cut off too much it feels so different and it does look shorter as well but yeah so the hugest thank you in the world to Amelia who came over and gave me a little haircut now since I was already in Stratford, I was like, okay, let me just pop into Westfield real quick, get some bits and pieces that I need, and then I'll catch up with you properly once I'm back home. Okay, we are back home. It's the 7th of February, 12 p.m. on the dot. <laughs> I got my little vanilla matcha. Let me, let me show you my hair first because ooh, oh, it feels so nice to have gotten a haircut. It feels so nice. Thank you, Amelia. I just like when I pull my fingers through my hair now, all of it just feels very thick and nice. 
before the ends were kind of feeling a bit thinner. You know, sometimes I do a middle part, sometimes I do a side part, sometimes I do no part. So it's a little bit tricky how to kind of cut the front and make sure that everything is the right length. But because my hair isn't super straight, it's kind of fine. So yeah, if it is uneven, you don't really notice it when it's not straight. But yeah, this is it. Not sure how much you can see as I'm not, I don't have eyes at the back of my head. There are some longer pieces here because as you can see, it's not curling up. So it kind of looks way longer than everything else that's kind of gone poof up. <laughs> but yes, it feels so nice. I'm so happy with it. I haven't had a haircut since I started growing my hair back out. So I used to have a shaved head and then I started growing my hair back out two years ago, about two years ago. And for the past two years, I've just, I just let it grow. And every time I would think that, you know, oh, it's time to get a haircut, it just wouldn't happen. So here we are two years later. And even before two years, I spent, you know, a couple of years just shaving it constantly by myself. And before that, I didn't have a clear routine of going to a specific hairdresser and getting a haircut. So I'm just, I'm not used to getting, I'm not used to getting haircuts. The last haircut I got that wasn't a head shave was back in 2018. So it's been a while, but it feels so nice. It feels so good. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, for the rest of the day, it's a beautiful day, by the way. It's sunny, there's no clouds. Wherever you are, I hope that you're able to get some sun on you. Even if it's just through a window, we'll take what we can get. <laughs> for the rest of today, I, we're going to prepare lunch because I'm starting to get very, very, very hungry. So we're going to prepare a quick little lunch, maybe some pasta, maybe like avocado toast. I don't know, just something. And then tonight, um, we're going to dinner with a friend of mine. And then we're going to have vegan Thai food. The whole place is vegan. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And between now, making lunch and the dinner, we don't have that much going on. We just have some stuff that we need to get done because tomorrow we're going to be traveling to Paris. I'm going to be there for five, six days. And yes, you are coming with me. <laughs> of course you are. I take you everywhere. So because we're going to be traveling tomorrow, my suitcase is, I have a small suitcase, but it's pretty much already packed. I like to be done with things two days before I travel because I like to have my last day to just relax. But now that we went to Westfield, I bought, let me show you. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there we are. Um, got some new stockings because this is a color I don't currently have. I bought a pair of white ones um, yesterday as well. And then let me show you the white ones too. So this is the pair I got yesterday. And then I saw this color yesterday, didn't buy it because I already have so much clothes and I don't really need to be buying new items, you know? But then I was still thinking about this color and because I use colorful stockings so much and I have them in so many different colors, I was like, okay, this is worth buying because I am using it. Then I got a little top up of my favorite lip gloss I think this is the maybe ninth one I'm getting, same but within like the last year. Same color, same brand, same everything. Um, I love it. It's what I'm wearing right now. And it's, it's simple. It works for an everyday look. I really like it. So we got that. So yes, I'm just going to make sure that that and any last bits and pieces I want to bring with me on my trip is in the suitcase secured and then vacuum and clean my room a little bit because I like to come back to a clean room 
Is there anything else? If there's anything else I need to prepare for my trip, I'm gonna get that done. And yeah, that's about it. Then we're gonna head to dinner. Thank you for being here with me and spending today with me. I hope you're feeling well wherever you are. Let's go make some lunch. This isn't looking the cutest, but I made some quick pasta because I could feel myself getting really, really hungry. So we did what was the quickest. And then the last bits of leftovers from, from last night, because what we're not going to do is waste food. Uh-uh. Then we're also going to fill out this birthday card. It's my housemate's um, birthday today. So once we've eaten, we'll fill this out and pop it under her door. Okay, I didn't realize I actually couldn't put anything underneath the door. Oh, put it here. We're on our way! It's gonna take us a while to get to the restaurant. So, of course, we're gonna be breathing on the tube. It just passed 10 p.m. The dinner was so, so lovely. We took a little walk after and got some cupcakes as well for dessert. But now we're back. Are you sliding down? <laughs> now we're, oh. Um, we're back and we're gonna prepare a little snack and paint my nails. I'm so happy with my hair. Before I left, um, I did the longer bits I did cut off myself because like some parts of my hair is completely straight. There's no curl pattern, no wave pattern. It's very like, I don't know what's going on with it. So I was like, this is always gonna look longer. Sure, when it's wet, and you brush it out it's all the same length but then when the rest curls up and those small pieces don't curl up that's not gonna work um so i just looked in the mirror and i took this and i was like whoosh, whoosh. i was like no regrets just cut 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 <laughs> but yes something quite scary happened earlier today when amelia was here we were standing in the Sorry, I'm just trying to get out this little hair tie that seems to be stuck in my hair. There we go. Um, earlier today when Amelia and I were standing in the bathroom and she, she had just started cutting my hair. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but out of nowhere, I started feeling... It started with me feeling extremely hungry like it just hit me like bam out of nowhere i felt like i was starving and i was gonna pass out if i didn't have something to eat right away and then within a few seconds that turned into complete nausea like i was so sure that i was gonna throw up and obviously amelia was standing behind me and she had no idea what was going on so she was continuing to talk and i couldn't focus on anything she was saying she told me later that she was saying stuff and I was just like, mm, like <laughs> just making sounds back. Um, so eventually I was able to just get out that like, we need to stop. Like I, I need to, I need a moment. Um, so I sat down on the toilet, tried to breathe. It wasn't working. I went to lay down in bed for a little bit, which we were cutting my hair. So my bed was covered in hair. <laughs> um, but the moment I lay down horizontally, I was feeling so much better. But it was awful because I can't remember having experienced anything like that just out of nowhere and then it completely disappearing afterwards. So it felt really, really scary. And while I was in the middle of it, I, I couldn't see a way out. I was like, this is it. This is my life now. This is who I am now. And of course I had, 
you know, I was panicking a little bit because I'm going on my trip tomorrow and I had this dinner tonight that I was really looking forward to. Um, so yeah, that happened. And then now on, on the tube on my way back, I started feeling nauseous again out of nowhere. So I got myself a can of Coke to drink. I haven't drank it yet. I have it in the fridge now. I'm, I don't know if that's going to help or not. I don't know if that's a myth or, or if it works. I don't know. I just know that when I was a kid and I would feel nauseous, my mom would always get me Coca-Cola. So, yeah. That's what we're going with. <laughs> and that's my little suitcase being ready to get zipped up for tomorrow. This is such a lovely towel that my best friend's grandmother got me from Guatemala. So I'm very happy to have that with me. This is what we have for our snacks tonight. We got some grapes, some blueberries, a pear, my Coca-Cola water. We, um, hello baby. I am so tired. So we're gonna paint these nails quickly. Eat our snacks, drink our drinks, post this video quickly. So we can head to sleep and head to Paris tomorrow. <laughs> when I booked this trip, it's a solo trip, and I booked it a few weeks ago, it felt so far away. And now it's tomorrow. And I'm just like, what? But I'm so very excited about it. And on Saturday, I'm going to be seeing one of my really good friends. She lives in Normandy, and she's going to be coming down to Paris to spend the weekend with me. I haven't seen her since, um, I think, November 2021. So it's been a while. Um, I've missed her, so I'm very much looking forward to that. But yes, I hope that you've had a lovely day for so far. Oh, but the day the day's already over. I hope you've had a lovely day today. And I hope that you're doing well. I hope you know that I'm sending you so much love. I'm sending so much encouragement your way. I'm grateful to have you here. I'm grateful to get to spend this time with you. So thank you so much for being here and spending today with me. And I'll see you soon again. Bye! Mwah.